18 again um, last time we took a look at models and view and I told you guys that um, we just walk around with the controllers and make some views but we haven't you know touched the database yet so today the next step according to the um, tutorial we touch the data access before we go to uh, distraction I want you uh, you guys to change a little bit in uh, spring serverless XML file see the rest over here I want you guys um, change a little bit because um, previous versions um, we cannot do anything and uh, I I got uh, errors with that one and for the oracles over here um, I'm up I apologize for the wrong information that I told you um, we use we can put them name over here whatever we want but you now for my part I use Oracle so I, ha I have to put uh, the names of Oracles over here if you use something else um, please uh, do some research how to put it uh, over here but I pretty sure that this one is version over here if you work with the Oracles it will work really well and one more time one more time I apologize for that for this section at um, uh, data access you see over here at uh, the January list so um, we create over here is from database we take it from that database mm, let's see January see we have 10 January's over here and the list Mm. All right, and this is the list of um, musics album from the January George January. I uh, yeah, of course, is from the database we have, and when we click on the album name is the best of man at work it will show you is right here and you can tell from the URL we have the, the URL we have local uh, local host and the port and the, st the store the store will show detail of the album number one um, yeah, for a jazz, uh, January, we have the list of them over here, and you know you will see it. It red over here is mean is is a uh, links. So we uh, we can click on that one. After you click on the links, it will show you like this. Um, details of you know the album that you know, the customer wanted to buy um yeah of course you know, for this one we have we we can touch the database and how can we connect uh, and uh, work with database uh, of course we have to create um java file to uh, we call that entities which we use that um, connect between database and and a Java and create um, the views like this. How we can create the uh, entities? Uh, take a look at uh, the project that I prepare. Entities. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in database I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This means in the database we have eight tables, and in 
entities I have a Java file right where we can create them manually um, like this um, uh, those yellow lines over here show that well, we don't use it but um, I still keep it there until at the, um, the end of the project I test everything and it worked really well so I delete it later um, you see it's really complicated but if you uh, when once you familiar with that one they really really easy to read and understand um, once again we can do it by, uh, by manually but luckily um, I learned it somewhere and they show us how to create entity files over here from NetBeans so that's why I put out uh, the NetBeans uh, screenshot over there alright uh, remember we have this database, database right alright uh, I run NetBeans Okay, um, create a new project. Like, um, Maven project. And next. Just keep it like that. We don't care. Because we just care whatever it generate for us. Save it, uh, finish. or you can um, rename the project name over here you see short package over here alright so we have um, the NetBeans project right click new entity class from database see click on that one and uh, we, ha we have to create a database connection I have mm, not this one um, okay um, you see I have a lot over here because um, the uh, the grass is different. We can we we can copy the address from. Uh, let me see. Um, or we can new database connections over here. Alright. And we have to choose the Oracle thin. I personally I use or Oracle thin. You guys can use MySQL or something else. I use um, Oracle 10 because I'm using um, Oracle. If you use um, MySQL, you can use MySQL. Alright, and choose uh, classes over here. Next, and you have to push the local host. But my uh, CMD, my local host, I uh, I don't know. For my SQLs, it will use local host, but Oracle's my Oracle Oracle they use um, address IP address. Alright, uh, I will use this 
Okay. 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 Port is fifteen twenty one. And SID is Kitty. Yeah, username is Spring. Um, let me see. Uh, what username do I have here? Go to these. My username is Spring Testing. Testing and the password. And test connection over here. Let's see if it works or not. Definitely, it should work. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm sorry. One six eight, not one six nine. All right, test connection. Success and finish. Oh, <laughs> uh, my laptop is so slow. Hmm? Does this work? And over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tables, and add O's over here, and max. Hmm. That means awesome. Love it. <laughs> Finish. Ah, uh, by the way, you can now. Uh, uh, um, before. before uh, before they generate over here, they asked uh, us how to do we want to rename the tables, but I usually to put it there. I don't want to touch it because you know some somehow um, it will mess up. So I put it there. All right. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine because this app Java. Does not belong to our database. Just eight. Let's see over here. And our next step is go back to Java and go to entities uh, package over here. Right click and new and class. All right for the class name because uh, we right click is over here it will, it will uh, put the package for you, for us over here already for the name uh, depend on what tables or what Java you want uh, what file we um, we working on for example over here I want to copy I say copy is is mean copy everything please copy everything control a and right click and copy or you or you can control c copy everything all uh, right over here you work with album go back to java and say album please okay uh it's synced down because i have already see over here and you have okay so it means we have um boom entities double clicks see nothing different accept this package the package you sh we sh we should put the package like or uh, like this over here you can copy the name and put it here yeah the package or it will generate for you but see this uh, that one. The whole thing import. I copy everything. Say, also. Say, everything. Please, everything. 
I comment this one down because I think we don't use it. You know, if I think we we'll use it, I will show you. Okay. Um. So it means I comment down this one. Okay. Boom. boom. Constructor. See everything. Everything. Everything co copy from when we generate from NetBeans. Alright. Artist. Artist. We do exactly the same whatever we I show you over there. They copy all copy all and create a new class and put the name it artist alright and here and copy everything put and copy everything over there just change the name of the package and we good to go we good to go don't change anything I just change ones over there normal because um, when I put it there it, uh, it sh uh, show me um, error okay so I assume you can do the other six tables okay the other six entities I assume I believe you guys can do it okay and one more thing I change is big decimal okay um octus id is mean the id of the record inside the database uh say octus see this one it mean I, I I mean this one artist ID C or album ID. See over here we use integer number. Somehow um, the next bean generate the code it's called big decimal. Please turn everything inside your entity class. You see anywhere has big decimal changes into integer all right please so um this mean you have to change the orders to gen january for example january we have january id and when it generate the code over here it will show you is big decimal so you you have to change everything big decimal into integer when once you change over here you, you will see um, the errors down here I will show you guys what I'm talking about big decimal alright so see big decimal is over here is okay but we you see some errors over here because the gender ID is integers I changed to big decimal already but the origin original is big decimal I changed to integer All right. I put it back to integer so everything is gone you can tell the errors over here blue to do warning um, yellow is mean something you have it but you never use and red is their error okay so uh, I assume that you guys can do it and one more thing for the album I think is not inside the album for price where the price name Right. Inside 
the net bin we have our boom go back here and we have something is say price hmm big decimal price all right so for the price and I believe in a cart or in the orders we have totals yeah total it means the total is money that um the, that the customer has to pay uh that means you big decimal but I use double all right those are the old all of the change I change in entities so once you guys change everything we good to go and I believe that entities is done don't touch it anymore until I told you guys do that okay we good to go for entities let's see um, what we're going to do next then alright uh, we're done with the net means just uh, generate the uh, entities class and copy and change integer decimal big decimal and we're good to go um okay so we have to work with all the models inside the models Album models Memory model, store controller, okay, so we have to touch these three guys to um, create whatever we want over here but um, I just want uh, for because of the my um, desktop recording software it just limit me um, the time so I have to cut this part uh, when we are, I finish this I will show you the orders for the next uh, clips that's okay um, okay for this one I will use uh you see the the store um the URL over here I will use the store controller and what what view I use so mean web um yeah I think we have uh, I, I show you guys already right we have we create or already but we just change a little bit to, uh, to make it look pretty like this we used to have let me see we used to have already right store see um, over here we, uh, we, we we work by hand but in this tutorial I will show you guys different way and we collect them from the database awesome so uh, let me use them index I think yeah store index JSP okay First of all, we have to take a look at this. We use store controllers to get information from the database, customize it, and show it on the view. Right? Store controllers. And for that one, for this one, is index, right? Is index. 
we can tell it from the URL store slash is mean go to uh, the root and that is show by the index JSP browse is will show by the browse JSP store detail it will show by its by these tails JSP browse right see browse from browse and details from the details okay so uh, we take a look at the index and inside the, con the store controllers go slash over here and hope last time we have it already right take a look at that because uh that page we just show information we just show information so we use um the get method okay um this is the name of the method i just get uh, store index page and parameters is model map and i create uh, because because I want the list of January right this is the list of January so I want a January list and where I get it I have to create from January model it's easy right easy top and after after I have the January, um, the January list, I put the January list to the store index. See? Okay. And I put the January count. Is mean over here? See, we have ten. We don't put 10. We have to count how many gen we have in the data database. See, I put the uh, gen we count here into the view. Makes sense, right? And with, after they put everything, I go back to store index. Return to store index. See? Re return to here okay um so it's from the controllers prepare information and put to the view and where we get the information i get we get from the model what model january model so um because i know it's already so I I uh, I stay at the middle and I say what what I want I want a January list uh, January list where I get it go to the model so it means I have to go to the January model first and create a method called find own Generys mm -hmm. find own January and get everything and put into my January list. So it means you go to uh, uh, January mo uh, models, create that method, get everything, and put it uh, and put it here. After we I uh, I have it in the controllers, put it into January list and put it and show it in the view. Okay, logical is that that. Look at how we uh, we create a model. January. January list, January model, January model. Okay, this is January model. Excuse me, it's January model. Um, it's easy. We just go to models and new class and put the name is Jan January. 
Moto and finish. Okay. Um the package we don't have we don't have to uh, take it on um, uh this one. And for the import over here we don't have to worry because Eclipse will worry about that for us. Mm-hmm. We we just use whatever we want. Okay. I come in and out and you see. Um it's red. A lot of red, right? If we use com uh component, if I want to use it, we have to import it, right? So import it. See it will import for us. Alright, service. If I don't have import service. Persistent uh, contacts. Okay, I will uh, I will in, uh, import the component and we will uh, I will show you the um whatever we use. The components over here will we uh we use annotation to let the system know that yeah, we use uh January model as a component. And the service the service I put the name is January service. It's service that is mean um I will provide this service for you controllers. Ever whenever you want. Go here. This is service you want. And position contacts is really important for us because this one will sh will will help us to um talk between here and the database this means we uh we can create an object delete an object edit an object go to the database and pull our own, own information inside the database is from here persist context please don't miss it if you miss it you cannot talk with the database important and entity manager these are tools we use it alright we cannot touch the database without this one so remember this one is very important don't miss it inside the models transaction transaction is uh, transaction annotation will show us um, we will create a transactions for create delete uh, edit any any record inside the database so create over here is your process Right, um, transaction annotation. Without this, if we don't put it over here, the system still work. Okay, the system, I mean, the spring, still work, but inside the database, you see nothing change. Transaction. Please remember, we use transaction for create delete and edit remember okay um january object import in uh, january object so because over here is january models we create january object after we create january object we, we use the transaction persist it into the database january Okay. Good. Um because inside the uh, store controllers I want to find all the January inside the database. This means we have ten January list all the January for for us. We have to use this method.
um, because I think we don't use anything create or deleted generate something we could elim elim we get rid of this one but this method we we need it um, the return type is the list of January the name of the function is um, file on January right I create um, a dumb January list empty and try it uh, and try create a name query connect to the database and then the name query name is January.final the return get the return list and put into a gender list here right see okay, okay. after I create a, a name query into the database the result will be put into the gender list makes sense and I return the gender list and if I want to get rid of the errors over here because we I didn't declare it, I use it. Okay, the object list. We have to import it. The query import management for Hibernate process. Okay, I use um management. Something is where I use Hibernate. Hmm. How about persistent? Okay, use persistent then. Persistent contacts. Yes. Uh, I. Yeah, I'm sorry. I told you guys to use a persistent contact. So I can get rid of this right. So see, it will generate for me and everything clean. Look everything clean 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 okay for this function this function I want it's over here it is common uh, you show whatever we want and in the real world in professional real world we have to comment everything every method we uh, we work we create um all right in this method say via January when we know its ID it mean if I want um, the January has the ID is seven it will return everything I have over here like um, January ID name is Latin and descri uh, description or we, uh, we can find the January with ID is 9 the name is that one is pop and description is pop blah, 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 blah. alright so um, we create the name okay re return type is an object that object is January object the name and put um, the ID is very important because uh, it cannot find anything if we don't pass the ID and I create a list of you know, the dumb the empty this general list and do the same create a query a query name the name is January January by January ID and because this one we don't use the parameters but over here we have parameters parameters is, pa uh, is the pass ID so we have to set the parameter January ID and pass ID pass ID is the pass ID uh, we have over here and we have to take all the 
the result and put into the gender list. See, the empty gender list over here now it has um. If inside the database we have the data, it will return data and put it inside here, and it will return the first one because I see why we do that because we just need only one and inside the genre of the the database it, the genre ID is nine just have only one object right so we, we get the first one of course always because it return only one object and that object is the um, is the first one always the first one all right and where do i get this and where do i get the name of the query we have to go to genre entity okay you see the query name section over here is say name queries it create is really nice. It re create everything for us already. We just know how to use them. For example, for the file own genre, we copy this right. Copy and go to genre models and put it here. I put here for the come out. Oh. Do, 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 do. Any different? No. Why? Because I copy from there. Alright, don't try to create the name query. Please, just copy from there. And for this method, say January 5 by January ID, go to January entity. See over here, January 5 by, by January ID, copy it, go to the model, you will see nothing different because I copy from them. I, I copy over there. I did not create it. I copy it. And for the parameters, yes, again, I copy from that. See, in this query, the name is this, and the parameters is this. I copied it. Go to models and put the uh, See, the pass ID over here is from here. So, okay. So after we know where we find the name query and parameters, be good to go. Okay. So in the store controllers, this one from the models. Uh, okay. One more time. If if you want to use the um, some everything from the models, we have to declare the service. See, you store yeah, generate models over here. We we put the service, the name. This is this is the name of the service. So we have to resort name the name generate service and private. January models and the name. This is the um, object, and this it, this is a class, and this is the object you want to use. So after we clear this, we it we good to go to use anything from the models. Okay, so model models here. The models over here is from. Here. Okay, and we put um, January list, and we put uh, January count is January list dot size. 
this means the size of the gender list over here okay and return to the store index now we take a look at the store index everything is uh, normal like I used to show you guys but don't miss this okay we had declared at the front really 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 had of the file say okay okay are you guys follow me sure right the title and the link I I think I believe that I show you guys um, change right change the address of the size the CSS okay and I believe that I show you guys the header already right because without the header see without the header we don't have this section mm-hmm and do you still remember the home and the store links over here see they are here mm-hmm I just change over here browse Henry it just uh, had uh, type one and say select from 10 January we don't put 10 we we put the January count say select from and we use this one as variable variable the, the name over here the name variable it should match with whatever we put in say gen recount say okay gen recount gen recount and put in brace and dollar sign good to go this thing is it will count is like a variable Okay, um, the next one is the unordered list, right? Unordered list, and we use the for each for each, okay, items at the gener list inside controllers we say we put the gender list in right gender list we have to use this name gender list put it in and variables is my gender whatever you want have whatever you you want because it's just a name of variable and URL okay I declare this one because uh, after we click on you see over here there are links so we I have to create an URL if after I click on in that items it will get it will link me the var is variable is the variable name. The link is real link. After I click in the real link at the links, it will take me to here. Browse. Browse. Um. HTML. I think. Uh. JSP. The browse page, and the January is the January name. Do you, I believe you guys still remember what whatever we have over here is after we put uh, the list of the January and if we have the links over here we click inside the links it would take me uh, take us to uh, oh where's that one then sorry see browse January is disco for example if I uh, 
click on the January disco it will take me to um, the January browse page take, um, back to our one okay last one is the list I told you guys that is a list L I here right inside here because I want is big and is a head and it is a header type 3 so I I put uh, x3 outside and the colors is red okay and that is the list so I put a list and because I want it I want them um, become link so I put a Tap right and the xref is on boom URL. Where's where's on boom URL here? This means it, after we click on here, it will link us to the browse and read is whatever is over here and. Finally, CL value is January dot name. Okay, it means it will list. It go each items inside the January list. Take the name show it make it become a link and show uh, and show it up in the view okay so I'm pretty sure that I explained everything inside um, this one already so it's time to run Uh, hopefully I didn't change anything because I don't want to mess up and I don't want to waste my time and your time okay it's good to go okay remember click store and go to the store click in the store here okay everything everything become link 10 January over here remember okay and if we click on here will link us to the browse see browse January code to something okay is it, it will uh, touch the other one um, the other clips so this means we get to go for this one uh, this this page right so we I'm done for this tutorial hopefully you guys uh, follow me and I again I apologize for those one I don't know uh, why it's different oh, but I just want you guys to change it and see how it's happened then okay uh, have fun and try it uh, hopefully you guys um, can finish this page see you next time